and welcome back to my Swindon Town save. Just first off, I just want to thank um, Five Stars HD for giving me a mention in his last video. Got me a few more subscribers, which I think which is always a good thing to see because it always makes you want to do these videos. So, um, oh yeah, like cheers, mate, and it's much appreciated. Um, yeah, so uh, let's move on to the last two months of fixtures and see how we got on. So we kicked off the month with a 1-1 draw against Luton away. Um, it was meant to be Charlton at, at home, I think. or I can't remember whether it was home or away, but um, that got postponed for some reason. I don't know why. So we played these on the 14th. Um, pretty disappointing on um, draw away because these are in the bottom half. So, but um, yeah, we... Pretty much dominated them really. Stats: 25 shots, 7 on target, 59% of the possession, but just couldn't get that goal in the second half. But um, never mind. Never mind. Any point away from home is always a good thing. So, so let's go on to the next one. We then went, uh, like we then went back, uh, like back to the county ground and beat Scunthorpe at home four 0 Goals from Kishner, Prattley, uh, own goal from their keeper. And a penalty from Bigger Mari, um, 15 shots, 6 on target, 63% of possession. We then continued our good home form with a 2 0 win against Notts County. Um, pretty much dominated the win, really. Like, we are dominating quite a lot of teams at the moment, which is good to see. But goal from Sakuna and Norwood from the penalty spot. 15 shots, 5 on target, 56% of possession. We then played the rearranged fixture against Charlton, but a disappointing um, no no draw at home. But they're in the playoffs, so. But I am trying to win all the home games I can, really, but um, never mind. We then away, went away to the Monkeys, Hartlepool, um, and won 1 0. Um, this was a very good result because they were third at the time. Um, so a very good result and obviously more pleasing for me because we don't like those uh, monkey people. So um, a very good result. A uh, goal from Sakuna in the seventh minute sealed it really, but we had the game really all game. Um, I can't remember whether I because I've got this new four five one formation I'm trying out. Um, obviously with two attacking wingers as inside forwards, but um, yeah, no, no. No, I did the four two three one. Okay, well, hello. Um, well, that kind of like ruins that one. But um, yeah, well, let's come to the next. Oh, we, then, we then went away to Chessfield two 0 um, and won. Like we then went there. That messed up. We then went to Chessfield two 0 oh, oh, this is just going wrong. It's not even working out. But. <laughs> Yeah, well you can see the result anyway. We won two 0 away. Um, goal from Prattley and Richie. Um, well, like we just scored at the right times really. Um, two goals at the second half. I kind of give a half team talk at half time. Probably not the best thing to do away from home, but um, it worked out. So, um, so it so it proved pretty good in the end really. But um, ten shots to. Um, Two on target, which were the two goals, and 43% of possession. We then had our third away game in a row, um, in the Johnson's Payne Trophy. Um, I wasn't really too bothered on this one, but we we got the win against a mid-table team in League 2. So, um, pretty much dominated them again. I'm pretty sure this is where we used this. For, yeah, this was the first game where we used a 4-5-1, because obviously it being in the cup, um, I... Uh, has like I've tried it on one of my live streams, um, with Brighton. It was yeah, Brighton, um, and it because I started off attacking in this one, but then I go a bit more, um, a bit more cautious in the other games. But it seemed to do pretty good, you know, and um, plenty of possession, plenty of shots, plenty on target, you know, because with that other formation we weren't really getting much. Um, things and I'm being distracted like by the message he's doing something on the Xbox but I can't really figure out um, but yeah um, a pretty much dominated performance against him, like a mid-table team who we should be beating anyway but it's always nice to see in the cup 
So, um, so yeah, let's go on to the next one. We then went 3-0 away to Crawley with this 4-5-1 formation again because we had a few weeks off. I um, can't remember who we were supposed to play. I think, no, I don't know. Um, but yeah, we played that 4-5-1 again because um, they had a few weeks to um, obviously get used to it. So, uh, very good result. These were in the bottom four, but still, though, um, to beat a team like this away 3 now is always a good thing because they were in League 2 in the first season when we started and they came up with us. So, um, very good result. Um, goals from Sakuna, Higamara, and Michael Keane. Just at eight minutes of three goals, really, but pretty much sealed it. Nine shots, eight on target, 45% of possession. We then had a promotion um, game at the top of the league. And it's quite a shock that they're uh, second in the league. But, um, yeah, we we pretty much dominated them all game, really. Um, they, they had more possession in the second half. Wow. Yeah, but uh, they had quite a lot of shots, maybe. like Not not really possession, but shots. But we pretty much like covered everything they had. And um, they were shooting from long range. Um, we had the possession... Nine shots on target, which is good, and 25 shots. Two goals from Kishner, and uh, brought him back in the team because he was a bit tired. So we played a few games for reserves to get some Matt Fitness up, and I thought that this would be the game for him to use the pace. But um, a very good result. We then went back to the counter ground and beat Coventry at home 1 0. Um, a non goal from Nathan Cameron. Um, wasn't the best of games, but they say that teams who are winning their games when they play awful I seem to go up so hopefully that um, hopefully that comes through we had a good start again I don't know if many of my new subscribers have seen the start we had last season um, but we started very good like maybe not as good as this one but we seem to go off um, off course after December um, January so it'll be interesting to see how we get on but um, let's go on to the next one we then finished off this two month period with a 1-0 win away to Lake Norian. Yet again, they're in the bottom four, but to not have them have a shot on target at, at home as well, you know, you've got to be pleased with that. Mm. And we had 19 shots, four on target, 49% possession. So, yet again, very good. Um, Matt Ritchie with a goal. Can't remember how long Kishner's out for. Let's have a look. If it wants to load. Right, so he's out for four weeks, which is a bit of a gutter, really. But, um, yeah, we weren't doing too bad with him. And as you can see, a lot of his um, attributes has gone up with him playing. His pace has gone up, which is good, because that's what I look for in a winger. So it's, um, his crossing's got a lot better. How many assists has he got? He's got four assists, four man of matches, I think. That's the main thing. He's one of the. Um, he's. I think he's one of the main um, loan signings that I've been using really. So obviously we've got Josh King, but with with Sakuna up top, hasn't really been playing really. But um, let's see where that has left us in the league. So after that two month period, um, we're top of the league by three points ahead of Barnet and. Eight points ahead of Leeds in third, um, which is good because as long as I get the top two, well, well, I think maybe I'm being a bit ahead, of, yeah, a bit ahead of myself. But um, you've already got a hair my in you, um, so very good. Um, obviously, we've got that gap over Barnet with being them two 0 at home, so very good, and we've got a bit of a gap over Leeds. So um, let's go and see who we've got in the next two months. So this is how it looks for the next two month fixtures. Pretty busy schedule as you'd imagine going into the so you got November and then the Christmas period which is always a busy um occasion. Um uh, that's three months, isn't it? That's why it looked a bit uh thing, right? That's why. That that kinda messed up, didn't it? I thought I thought it was a bit too much for uh um two months then. But um, never mind. Um, you can't. You, 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 you can't judge me there, can you? Um, 
so, oh, this is not happening all. This is this is why anything by right. Anyway, got Walsall away, Wickham at home, South End away, Hereford at home in the Johnson's paint, so we could progress in that because they're League Two, so we should be looking to beat those even in the Johnson's paint. Um, then Tram at home, Chef Wednesday away. The mighty Carlisle at home, um, Rochdale away, Leeds at home, which is going to be a big one because um, they're in third. So we need to look to be winning that. And then Stevenage away and Yeovil away for the next two months. So um, if you like what you see, then join me back next time. See you later, guys.